Hello and welcome to Dr. VGP Talk Show. Hello and welcome to Dr. VGP Talk Show that reaches 42 million households across the globe, including 2 million in America. Today, in this episode of Dr. VGP Talk Show, we have a spiritual guru as our guest, a guru who believes and who uplifts the supreme spiritual consciousness inside each one of us. Meet Her Holiness, Sri Karunya Mai, a lady when she was 16 years old or 16 years young, was spent 10 years meditating in the Peninsula Aksharam in a tranquil forest of Andhra Pradesh, where for 10 years while she was meditating, without speaking, she was filled with divine spirit, with divinity, blessed with divinity, cloaked with spiritual powers. And she started the SMVA Trust in North America, and she has visited United States every year since 1980 till 44 years and she has right now on a world tour and she is in Chicago and we will be meeting her in an intimate conversation with this spiritual guru the world's greatest treasure of love whose action spellbound in serving millions of people through her education programs to her healthcare for all, to her food and agriculture programs, through her housing programs, through her environmental sustainability initiatives, and most important, for her water treatment facilities. Not only in India, she has projects in Uganda and rest of the world. A treasure trove of love in action. Meet Her Holiness, Sri Karunyamai, today in this enlightened, intimate conversation.
Well, we are here with one of the devote followers of Amma Shri Karunaya Mai, experiencing the divine love of one of the great, India's greatest treasures. And uh, Aditya, welcome. Jai Karuna Mai. <laughs> Talk about how and what brought you to this great saint in our times. Well, as a lot of Indian scripture, divine scripture says, um, when you are ready, Guru appears. And, amen, amen. And this is my story. 2012, I got very sick and regular medicine doesn't work. Someone told me about Ama Shri Karunamai, about Her Holiness. This was the time when she visited Chicago. So I scheduled for meditation retreat and this is how our story began. When Ama saw me, she touched my top of my head. She blessed me and she asked me to come to India. And she told me, I will be healed. Then my family will be healed. And then I will be supporting um, people. That time I didn't understand what it is mean, but um, this really happened. Amen. Ama is walking miracle. You call Ama Indian treasures. I will expand your words. I'll, I will expand that. Ama Shri Karunamai, Her Holiness, she is not only Indian treasures. She is global treasures. She mm -hmm. is treasures for all of us. So well said, Aditya. It was in the same year, believe it or not, 2012, <laughs> when I met Amma Shri Karunamai right here in Chicago. Well, so, so blessed for you and you're one of the great followers. And she's sharing a story of how she was suffering from an incurable illness. And Amma Shri Karunamai, the world's greatest treasure, gave a miracle and cured her. And today she and her family are healthy and all over the world along with Amar. Thank you so much, Aditya, for giving this testimony to our viewers. This is uh, it's even more than only that. Because all the time we are so focusing on our physical form. Yes, this is very important. But the illness was not my body illness. My illness was my heart illness. So this touch on the top of, your, of my head opened my heart. And when your heart is open, your body is healthy, your mind is healthy, and everything, your family is healthy and everything around. Amen. Thank you so much. There are countless paths and beliefs, but all these innumerable paths lead to only one ultimate goal, supreme spiritual consciousness. These are the words of our guest, uh, Her Holiness Amma Shri Karuna Mai, at this episode of Dr. VGP Talk Show. Dr. VGP Talk Show reaches 42 million households across the globe, including 2 million in America. Amma, your Holiness Sri Karnamai, welcome to Dr. VGP Talk Show. Thank you. We are so happy and blessed to have a precious moment of your time during your visit to Chicago to come and have an intimate conversation with this 
spiritual phenomenon who is going to talk to us about supreme spiritual consciousness which Amma Karnamai embodies in life and spirit. Amma, may I call you Your Holiness Amma because you look so much of embodiment, unconditional motherly love radiates around you by your smile and captivates all our hearts with your compassionate care with your numerous programs where you're serving millions around the world. Amma, please tell our audience about how when you were at the age of 16 years that you were in a forest in Andhra Pradesh and where you were in meditation for 10 years. That blessed experience. Thank you so much. Om Apatala Napantarasta Om Sivaya Gurave Namaham Apatala Napantarasta Bhavanam Brahmandama Vispuratum Jyotis Partika Linga Mauli Vilasat Purnendu Vamtam Rutaihim Astoka Plutamika Mesa Manisham Rutra Nuva Kanjapan Jaye Deep Sita Siddhaye Dravapadam Vipro Bishinche Sivam This is a beautiful Sanatan Dharma prayer. The Divine Consciousness is absolutely enveloping this entire universes, entire cosmos. So we are that light. So the beautiful question, actually how the sadhana starts and it was so intimate. Words are not adequate to speak about uh, the sadhanas. Maybe it is the call of Arunachala. For the reason, I like tapas. Tapas is the sadhana. Um, sadhana, not for my sake, to be like a role model. With the call of the Supreme Almighty, I have been to the mountains. The mountains are like our mother of the Kundalini mountains. So it is uh, for the total how the human beings have Kundalini. Similarly, for Mother Earth is also, there is a Kundalini. So, I have been to that Kundalini mountains, Peninsula Kshetram, and I was meditating there 10 long years. Wow! The 10 long years went like 10 seconds. The world is there or not, I don't know that. It was a very freshest time. I have no words to speak about it. Just I was observing absolute silence. Tapas, I like tapas so much. Wow, you just heard Her Holiness Amashri Karanamai. At 16 years ago, uh, when she was 16 years old, she spent 10 years in the mountains in the peninsula Akshatram, mountainous area in a tranquil forest in Andhra Pradesh by herself. Without speaking, as you said, the period of 10 years went like 10 seconds and you, Amma, enjoyed tapas, which is part of Santana Dharma. Amma, tell us something. What is sant we hear this word Santana Dharma used so often. Could you explain in English what does it mean? I mean... It's a Sanatana Dharma. Sanatana Dharma. Sanatana means very, very, very ancient. Ancient, permanent, which is not explained in the words. Absolute, benediction, truth, changeless, ultimate goal. Dharma means righteousness. To be attain that goal of the truth, we follow some fundamental rules of speaking truth, leading a life with spirituality, wisdom, uh, mental dispassion, uh, all of those divine attributes is dharma. 
So, Sanatan Dharma is not a religion, it is the way of life. You explained it so beautifully and vividly. I am just was wondering while you were speaking those eloquent words, like an erudite scholar, you have not had any formal education? Yes, small education. And you are speaking like a scholar in proficient English and trying to describe a highly philosophical subject like Sanatana Dharma in simplified words. I mean, that shows the 10 years of divineness you spent as a teenager in the mountain forest ashram. And today, you are a beacon of hope for vulnerable communities worldwide. The essence of your ministry, uh, which is worldwide today, you first visited America in 1980, today is 2024, and for the last 44 years, every year, Her Holiness Amma Shri Karuna Mai comes to give solace for those who are suffering, those who are hurt and oppressed. Amma, tell us your experience has been in America. I felt, according to the Sanatana Dharma values, the total world is like a small home, Vasudhaika Kutumbam. So all these continents are small, small rooms in this beautiful home. We have to be together without any frictions, negativity, anger, no wars, no commotion. We have to be united together and to bring more progress in our world. Unfortunately, today, because of the Kali Yuga influence, innumerable wars and commotions, unrest in our world, so world is trying to become together and peace. Everybody was expecting eternal peace. I was traveling all over the world. People welcome me, uh, welcome, welcoming me here to come and uh, they want to share their problems and everything. What I felt is, lot of people, uh, mostly 95% of the Westerners from all over the countries, all countries, all continent people, not one country people, uh, they love me not like a guru, more than their biological mother. Hmm. More than their biological, biological mother. mother. They love like anything, abundant. I was melted so much by all the people's love all these years. So nothing is never going to bond me because I don't like any bondages. But the love from the people bond me. I bond myself to the people's love for the reason I was with them all these years. We want to uplift ourselves, all our world, towards the higher levels of consciousness. That is the main goal. Peace is the main goal. Spirituality and truthful life, sincere life, wisdom. We are not sitting in the boundaries of this and that and country, continent, religion. I am beyond. I don't like to be boundaries. We want to be beyond the boundaries. Such profound words from a spiritual super supreme consciousness. Amma, you have said it in such simple words, but when you said the whole world is like one small home with each room maybe representing a continent or a country, and how God has placed you in our midst to spread unity. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and how you want to share knowledge and how important today is you express something about love, about abundant love that most of your followers who 95% are non-Indians, are they love you more than their biological mother. I mean, that's the greatest, greatest gift one can get to get pure, boundless love. And it's also you in turn, Amma, 
are giving uncompromising, unconditional love to all. So as you give love, it reciprocates. Thank you for this wonderful question. After the tapas, any spiritual person, true spiritual person, what they felt in their life is, this world is nothing but the Supreme Self only. If once we experience the Self within, the same Self we see everywhere in the entire universe. So there is no second thing there, no duality. Everything is oneness only. With that oneness, I love this world. I felt all this, everybody was nothing but my flesh, my blood, my bones, my heartbeat, my Supreme Self. With that love, I love people. And you, your SVMVA trust here in US and in India, your Karnayamai trust, are doing so many activities, which is putting love in action, I would say. Whether your education for children, your empowering minds, transforming lives, in one classroom at a time. Tell us about that program, Amma. Where I was staying, it was a backward tribal areas. We started our education from the uh, backward areas. Education is very important for the world. So for the reason, we start the schools for the education to uplift the people from the um, Education is like a third eye. If people are educated, we can eradicate the poverty from their families. So that's why we are focusing on the students and mainly wherever I have been to the world, I was um, inspired the students. Students comes to me. I was inscribing Saraswati mantra on their tongues for memory power to lead a good life, uh, to be very honest children and education values they have to know, parents they have to respect, love their own countries, and they have to give back everything to the society. You have said very, first time I've heard this, education is the third eye, a wonderful phrase. Every time you talk, Your Holiness, Amashri Karma, I'm amazed at your wealth of knowledge and your command of the language and command of the belief system surrounding us. It's amazing. Those 10 years as a teenager you spent in the forest of Peninsula Akshara in Andhra Pradesh must have been where you were just by meditating without speaking got the best of knowledge which no Oxford, Cambridge of Harvard or Yale can offer. Amma. I tell you that. Tell us about your water treatment facilities that you're establishing around the world. Yes. Water, um, so we are speaking about the human rights. Drinking pure water is a human right. Till today in our human world, so many people have not the proper homes, not the proper education, no proper homes, no proper water. Innumerable people, millions, billions of people suffering in the world without food. So my main desire is in the world food for all, education for all, pure water for all, peace for all. So with that concept, we are working the world. You have said it very well. First time I'm hearing this again. Treating pure water or giving pure water is a human right. I never heard of it. In my mind, in my dictionary, in my doxicology, we talk about coalition for human rights. Human rights means fighting for something, uh, human trafficking, for uh, uh, gender inequality. Never heard that treating pure water is also a human right. Such a profound statement. You're also, apart, you've already alluded that your hunger eradication. Earlier today, I was in one of your sessions where you talked about the healthy food habits, the vegetables, and how uh, the how that leads to a holistic life approach. Tell us about, your, uh, you're also providing houses for those who need the housing program. 
we did some small housing projects for some thousands of people. We have to do more housing projects all over the world. Little, little we did. Hmm? Lot of need in the world. So much need. The need of the world, what I did is a small drop in the ocean. We have, everybody have to do more without any anticipation, without any expectations, without any thanks or anything, we have to do more and more. Need is like anything in the society today. Amma, today you are a true living saint. We heard of saints who are long gone, sages, but today you are a living saint by your actions and how you are so profound in how you are telling and guiding your followers. Now tell us about, you have traveled around the world. You have been to many countries, Japan, Australia, Malaysia, Singapore, Cambodia, Uganda and America of course. Tell us, you have a project in Uganda. Tell us about that. What, what are you doing in Uganda? For the students we have school project and water project. We did all those things, food projects. Every year we are doing that also. Uh, so need is not there also. But more we have to do in future. Good. So you have chosen Uganda as a special project and yes. you're continuing supporting it year after year yes. and helping the children of Uganda. Yes. And that, that's a very noble cause. You've also, uh, one of your agenda is provision of universal health care. I see you've developed a huge hospital. Yes. Tell us about it and where it is located and how is it serving the people today? The hospital is also located in the rural area. So we have the SRIM Foundation. Through the SRIM Foundation, we are giving the services for the needy people. Uh, so the people are very, very bad situations. Like uh, people have no money to go to hospitals for eye surgeries and also for the handicapped children, we are giving the tricycles for people, mm. different, different, lot of services, heart surgeries, um, so many different surgeries, women care, children care, and all the uh, different serv services we are doing through the hospital. In future, we want to do more and more services. Need is in our total world, like anything, lot of need in the world. Uh, instead of we are spending money for other reasons, like wars or other reasons. We have to spend the money for the progress of the world, more schools, more hospitals, more research programs, things like that. Our world will become a better place to live, all of the people. And people have to be sleep very peacefully innumerable people are suffering like anything in the world. We are seeing everywhere. People are crying daily, come to me. Daily I am talking with uh, thousands of people. People cried a lot. So much sadness in the world. Health problems, cancer, diabetes, so many chronic health challenges, mental challenges, uh, mental diabetes. People have mentally, people are disability. So, so many problems are there in the world. So all of the governments have to think about this, do more seva. So many other charity organizations also come forward. People are doing already so much. I am doing very little. So many people are doing a lot. But everybody have to, with more responsibility, with more love, we have to uplift our society it must be like a better place for all the people to live. You know, when I recall, I did meet you, Amma, in 2012 and 2013. We honored you with a congressional award with Congressman Danny K. Davis. You addressed a west side of Chicago, a whole Black Baptist leadership conference there, and you spoke so profoundly, and uh, everybody were touched by your presence. And you see, you're doing your work in a very humble fashion, like you're saying, a drop in an ocean, and you're continuing doing that. You also have a steadfast commitment to environmental protection. You've addressed every angle possible in your multifaceted ministry. Yes. So tell us what you're doing in the environmental protection. Yes, that is very important, very essential today. 
so many pollutions, you know, even agriculture was damaged like anything. We have to bring back the natural agriculture. Uh, health problems comes because of the all the pollutions, um, chemical pollutions and all the things. Agriculture have to be perfect. Uh, it is organic agriculture, then no cancers, no diabetic and no mental problems for people. So it is very, very essential. And also water pollutions, lot of pollution in the water. In some areas of the world, um, the chemical rains comes, chemical rain comes. So this is one of the pollutions. So in behalf of all the pollutions, more pollution is mental pollution, thought pollution. Thought pollution is like anything. And we need our world with the spirit. If they are not spiritual, it's okay. I'm not expecting everybody to have to be a spiritual person. If we have to be a good person, not to give harm to anybody, if they're good, that's better. Not expecting spirituality or anything from the world. You've said it very well. I never thought of mental pollution. When we think of pollution, we think the air, environmental <laughs> pollution. Now, you know, you brought so many enlightening thoughts to our minds to think about. Mental pollution is how to be, have a pure soul and not to be mentally polluted, which is very, very, very at the heart of how we convey ourselves and how we move about with a clean mind, which is very important. Now, Amma, you have done so much for the people and still doing. And again, in your, in your own words, there are countless paths and beliefs, but all these innumerable paths lead to only one ultimate goal, the supreme spiritual consciousness. Those are your very own words. What today, there are two big wars going on in the world, one with Ukraine and Russia, one with Israel, which is supposed to have the Holy Land and Gaza. Tell our viewers, what is your perception on this? Uh, while you are all for global peace, right in our age and time, there are two major wars. Innocent lives are being lost. As you said, a lot of money is being spent on the wars. What is your possession, Amma? War is innumerable mothers are missing their children. Innumerable wives are missing their husband. Innumerable children are missing their dad. And innumerable people died in the wars. Countries are collapsed. Thousands of people homeless, helpless. Finally, what war gives us? Nothing. Nothing, no? We never get anything by war. So, intellectual people have to think about this. Definitely they have to think about that. Uh, so, compared with all the creation, human beings have a very great intellectual uh, power in our hearts. We have compassion, all the things in our heart. If anything happened to our own people, how we felt sad, no? Similarly, millions of people are dying in the wars. So, we have to think about this. We are praying, just praying. Prayers are not enough. People have to sit together, bring some solutions for this, think about this. The people who is important people have to sit together and talk about that, bring some solution for this, final solution we need for this. We don't need to continue this program anymore. You have said it so well. You know, talking about war, it brings me closer to home in India. We hear about uh, there is no much tolerance between the different faiths, between Hindus and Muslims and Christians. And you very profoundly said, Santana Dharma is San not a religion, Sanatana. but a way of Sanatana Dharma. Sorry, Sanatana Dharma is not a religion, but a way of life. Uh, so, what would steps would you take to make stronger interfaith unity in India and across the world? India is doing so great right now. Hmm? doing wonderful things right now. All of you saw the progress yes. of India. Uh, slowly we can bring all the peace in the country between all the people. We don't like to fight things. 
innumerable cultures are together in India so many years onwards, not today, hundreds of years onwards, uh, people live together, different, different states and different, different countries. People come to the there and lot of hospitality. Krishna Devaraya time itself, people from other countries, Portuguese people, people came, their hospitality and love like anything at that time, 500 years before. Now, lot of progress comes in the modern centuries. We understand very well. Some people are not able to understand their hearts may have maybe make more broader and broader, then all these silly problems will be subside. We can bring more peace and happiness to all the people in the country. We are praying constantly that. I think you you said it very well. And I think there's no place for hate anymore in this world. It's only place for love. Yes. And uh, like you said, motherly love and there are people all your followers love you more than their own biological <laughs> mother. I mean, that's that's really great. Now, <clears throat> you know, with all the different, uh, you're doing so much for the people, educating children, you're establishing water treatment plants, housing programs, you're doing hunger eradication eff efforts, your food awareness programs, you're promoting gender equality, and also provision of universal health care. Like you said, your hospital is doing so much even doing the tertiary level of services and heart care surgeries. You're also a natural disaster times you come up to the relief. And you are also are showing a steadfast commitment in action to environmental protection. How can all our viewers and our listeners help? Uh, could they, there's their, they could contribute to your organization. Those viewers in U.S., can contribute down scrolling down the screen we have the SMVA trust established in 1995 which are 501c3 uh, the information is there where you can send your contributions if in your in, if you are in India you have the uh, you have the Sri Shanivashra Shaligram Devastam uh, the uh, information is also scrolling down your screen we can contribute and help her holiness Amashri Karunyamaya and the SMBA trust in her journey to transform millions of lives of people. And uh, Amma, it's been such an enlightening time with you. I mean, I am spellbound and in awe of how you articulately explain yourself, explain your vision, explain your mission. Now, if you're given a chance to take three people out for dinner from the past or the present, who would those three people do? Who is this three people be? <laughs> the total world is my temple. All the human beings are my gods and goddesses. But I love Bharat Mata like anything. Wow. Wonderfully said. So the one is Bharat Mata. Second one? My biological mother. Your biological mother. What's her name? Annapurnama. Tell me something about your mother, Annapurnama, who gave birth to such a pure soul like yourself. She was really very divine. Uh, she was not very highly educated, but so many highly educated people I was seeing in the world, not that much sophisticated behavior. She was so sophisticated behavior, so tender and if anything, anybody need anything, ready to give anything to people. Uh, that is the inner beauty of her. Very soft heart, helping people, devotion, sacrificing anything for other people's sake. That is my biological mother. So you I got her. all her traits. You absorbed every one of the traits, 100% and more. Who is the third person? Bharat Mata, your biological mana, Anupurma Ji, and who's the third person? My other sister, uh, she was also no more. She did so much for me. She's also unmarried and sacrificed a lot for the organization. What's her name? Uh, she's uh, Vijay Prashanti. Vijay Prashanti. Uh, Akkaya, we Akkaya, call Akkaya. I remember yeah. her as Akkaya. Mm. Akkaya was uh, give up her body. She was completely, she's unmarried. She was a very pure soul, blemishless soul. 
and she was helping the organization to do the water projects, housing projects, medical projects, all the things. I was completely in spiritual program, but Akaya was taking care of all these projects and like anything, another sister was also there, Revati Amma. She was also passed away very decently, one month before itself. Oh, so sad. Uh, so that. she also, 100 CEOs are not equal to her. Wow. Such a great soul. She is also sacrificing totally everybody selflessly. They never expect name, fame, money, anything from the organization. They just did so much unbelievable seva they did for the organization to uplift all the people. Thousands of people get benefits from these two children. What a, what a blessing. You have such wonderful siblings and come from a wonderful mother. And um, tell us what you do. do you, I know you may not have any spare time. You must be meditating all the time. But I learned that this morning you got up early morning and you cooked for all your devotees. You made a nice <laughs> carrot salad, which I was able to have, a good payasam, and you gave a kind of a soup. <laughs> and they're all holistic, organic, right? <laughs> Sama, tell us about your culinary skills. <laughs> we were fortunate to eat food which was cooked by you. Thank Blessed, you. actually. So tell us, what are your favorite foods and how did you go about cooking these delicacies which were really pure and organic today? In Bharat, people have multiple talents. They're not only Correct. cooking, Ayurveda, everything people have innumerable talents. So, so that's why all these Ayurvedic cookings is um, that today morning we make like a energy drink uh -huh. with the moong dal. Um, energy, moong dal is the highest protein and then with the jaggery and coconut milk. So it was a very super energy drink than any other energy drinks. So that's yes. why all our American children, they want that. And then we have the banana flower soup. Banana flower have contained uh, 54 minerals and vitamins wow. in it. So any minerals and vitamin tablets are zero in front of banana flower. So in Brahmin community, we eat too much about the banana flowers. So the banana flower soup we make like Ayurvedic soup. It was very and tasty. Then Vedic salad is the uh, like um, moong dal. Moong dal give the mind very calm and quiet and negativity, angry never comes. Moong dal is highest protein. So that's why it is a Vedic salad. And it had carrots, chopped carrots, carrots in it. Uh, everything, all the vegetables. It was very delicious. Um, Amma, you are such a multifaceted personality, a living legend, helping millions of people. How would you describe yourself in three words? Three adjectives, preferably. I have to do more. I have to do more. I am doing very nothing. Need is like a ocean. What the seva we did is was a small drop in the ocean of need. You were so humble and so profoundly well said. Amma, in concluding, thank you for this enlightening conversation with you to learn more about you and in depth about your mission, your life, and what is your vision for the future? I have a lot of hope on our world. The world is definitely going to change. More education I'm expecting in the world, more universal peace we are expecting, more and all the, among all the things, Unity, I'm expecting all the time. We are working for the unity. So we inspire all the people. Daily we are th th talking with thousands of people. People's hearts are super beautiful. People don't like fighting, negativity, not. Some people are doing that, not all the people. Common people are very, very good. Definitely I have hope. Universal peace comes, unity comes, happiness comes, progress comes. We are expecting more education important in the world. So, so profound, so well said. Concluding, what would be your message to all our viewers, Ma? Thank you so much for coming all the way to interview me. And thank you for all of you. Uh, my expectation is always only peace. I love this world. I'm coming here not like a guru, not like a divine person. I just like a common person comes to people. People loves me like anything. They're so madly, madly, madly loves me in this country. Wherever we go, I, I'm indebted with the love of the people. 
um, I love them so much. All the time expecting everybody's good health, prosperity, peace, happiness, their spiritual upliftment, their goodness and unity in their homes. If individual personality is happy and peaceful and with unity in the home, definitely all homes are filled with the peace and harmony and happiness only. All the time we are expecting only the universal peace and universal brotherhood, universal happiness. Thank you so much, Your Holiness Samashri Karnamai. Thank you. And you are a supreme spiritual consciousness Thank you. Thank you in so life and spirit with us. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to be on the Dr. VGP talk show, which reaches 42 million households. Thank God you bless so you. God bless your ministry. And may you be strengthened in everything you do as you reach out to touch millions of hearts. Thank you so much, Amra. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, we are here with Alicia, another devout follower at the Hanuman Mandir Temple of Greater Chicago. Alicia, could you tell us what's happening here for the last three days? It's a meditation retreat with India's world's greatest treasure, Amma Shri Karaniya Mai. Tell us, Alicia, and tell our viewers what's happening here. And uh, the, down you have the address of Hanuman Mandir Temple of Greater Chicago in Glenview, where you can come and experience this wonderful blessing. Alicia, to you. Thank you so much. Yes, so for the past weekend and this weekend, we've been hosting Her Holiness Amashi Karunamai um, in the Glenview Temple of Hanuman. And today, actually, and tomorrow, we have Ayurveda retreat with where Amma is sharing her wisdom and recipes and, and ancient, ancient uh, blessings of all the collective knowledge and wisdom that she wants to share with us. On Friday and Saturday, we will be actually experiencing a meditation retreat with Amma Shikarunamai. Amma Shikarunamai will be sharing her um, pranayama and meditative practices as well as she will be cleansing um, our chakras. She will be giving chakra initiation on Friday and Saturday, Shaktipat, when we will be blessed with this divine energy of Her Holiness Amma Shikarunamai. On Sunday, though, we will be um, celebrating the Guru Purnima uh, where, uh, at 5 p.m. actually at the temple, where all devotees and people that would love to meet Amma and haven't met her yet can experience the Guru Purnima and um, celebrate with us um, because Amma is showing us the light in the darkness and on Sunday we will be showing our gratitude for all the blessings that she has been showering us with for many years. Okay. So Alicia, this would be this Sunday, July 21st at yes. Hanuman te Temple. Temple. And the address is scrolled down the screen. You just said, Alicia, tell us about your experience with uh, Her Holiness Amma. Mm -hmm. I met uh, Amma Shikaruna Mai about seven years ago. And uh, I was introduced to her by my dear friend, Adita, um, who was just sharing her uh, testimonial. So for many years, I've been looking for um, a little bit more than I know, and I really wanted to go to India, but I didn't know where. And uh, my friend Adita told me about Amma. When I first met her, I was just, I experienced this divine 
peace and uh, my mind actually was peaceful for the first time in my life and the more I know her the more I'm discovering um, my life has changed tremendously I am able I was able to build a good relationship with my husband actually I met husband my husband when I was when I met uh, Amashi Karuna Mai and uh, my life is more peaceful more abundant prosperous and I have never imagined this in my life, so I'm grateful for, for that, and uh, I cannot wait what's coming next. Guys, you just heard what Alicia said. If you want to experience that same blessing of prosperity, blessing of peace, then come on Sunday, July 21st to the Guru Purnima at, at, the 5, PM. at 5 p.m. at Hanuman Mandir Temple to experience this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Down on the screen, we are scrolling the address of Hanuman, and Alicia will be there to personally greet you. Right, Alicia? I will be right here personally greeting everyone who's interested to meet Amashri Karunamai, her holiness, and experience the blessings and the wisdom of her. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, we have Alana, another devout follower and disciple of Her Holiness Amashri Karuna Mayu, right here. And Alana, could you tell us from Chicago, where do we go next? Yes, yeah, so next, Amma will be traveling to Washington, D.C., and she'll be there July 25th to July 28th. And then after that, she'll be continuing north to New Jersey and then uh, finishing uh, afterwards in New York. New York. Yes, Fantastic. and then uh, she'll, she'll be in the U.S. for August, and then afterwards she'll be going to Europe, and she'll be in Poland. She'll be in Warsaw from September 8th to the 6th to the 8th, and then she will be in Krakow from the 13th to the 15th. So please join us in Europe after that. Fantastic. Tell us about your personal experience mm. with this world's greatest treasure of love. Well, it's so difficult to put into words how to express how Amma, Her Holiness, has impacted my life. I've known her for almost seven years and my life has completely transformed. I, I experience joy, bliss on a daily basis. Nothing can even touch me. Amen. No, No anger, no frustration. It's just peace and joy and love and prosperity. I have an amazing husband. I purchased a beautiful home in the mountains and I'm going to India every year for silent meditation. Wow, that's exciting. That's great. You Only just, Amma Grace. <laughs> yes, you just heard what she is experiencing. Alana is experiencing. If you guys want to experience this blissful peace in an era of prosperity, come and see and meet her Holiness Amma Shri Karunimaya in person in any one of these locations in Chicago, in Washington, D.C., New York, New Jersey, New Jersey, even in Europe. See you all soon. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you.